Hello Fun Nation, my name is Anthony here on Fanalysis and today we are going to look at the current world record. We're going to see how the Red Alliance maneuvers around each other and figures out the strategy to be able to score over 71 artifacts this early in the season. We're going to dive into that and much more here on Fanalysis. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interest, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash first. Studica Robotics is inspiring teams to build better robots with their new array of FTC team options. Check out their updated bevel gears and Maverick hex shaft motors, planetary gearbox options, and 6mm hex components and shafts for extreme power transmission. Go to studica.com slash robots to learn more and apply for discounts. To start off the match, on the Red Alliance, we have team 18270 Robo players on the bottom right. They are the number one OPR in the world right now with 130.78, which is an insane number to think about right now because they gap the next teams below them by a couple OPR points. And then we also have 24799 Mechanical Advantage at the top right, which is number 10 on the OPR as of now. And then on the Blue Alliance, we have Team 7172 Technical Difficulties and team 31166 Titanium Robotics. In this match, we're gonna primarily focus on the Red Alliance to show the strategies throughout. So we can see that immediately after the match starts, they're all shooting in those artifacts. We see they shoot six right off the bat, and this is, I'm gonna stop every time they clear because this is the first time they clear this and we're going to see this many more times here throughout the match. So they're not really going for getting the motifs in honor. They're just going to score, score, score as much as they can because there's, they're so quick and fast. So we see Robo players and the strategy that they have, they're just going back and forth and back and forth to try and get these artifacts. So look, so there is number two cleared in auto. So that's kind of crazy and this leaves this wide open gap and this so many artifacts for robo players to do that cycling in and out to be able to cycle even more as the match goes on so keep in mind this is the F the first in texas north mckinney qualifier so there are texas is a much stronger division overall just on average and so we're going to see that as the match plays on now don't get me wrong the Blue Alliance is doing really well. As we can see, they have seven artifacts over here already, which is great. It's just this, this Red Alliance is going to dominate just that much more. So yeah, they scored 17 in autonomous, which is absolutely insane to think about. So we can see that and guess what they, guess what they immediately go for? They open up that gate again. Immediately after the tele up starts, they clear it. And so we can see that uh, Mechanical Advantage is often taking the short shots from the middle of the field. And Robo Players is going to be shooting from the far side of the field this entire match. So we can see that they're just going to cycle back and forth, right? And we can see, unfortunately, we can't see because there's a referee here. But they clear out the ramp again for the fourth time. So the Red Alliance is getting into, and there's the fifth time. So Red Alliance is getting into this movement where Robo players are shooting these artifacts up. And then Mechanical Advantage and Robo players shoot up. And then Mechanical Advantage clears the ramp again. So this entire strategy is how they're going to be playing this entire match. We can see that Robo players is already shooting up, so that as soon as the ramp clears, there's three in there. And then this red alliance is just going to be able to cycle that and keep that cycle going. That's how they're able to get this high of points. Now, we can also see that something, some sort of belt came off of Robo players, 
and is just sitting on the field. I'm not sure what that is. It looked like you came off the intake, but as we can see for the rest of this match, that's not going to matter because they're going to be able to pick that pick, keep going, and we can see. So there's there is mechanical advantage again, clearing it for the seventh time this match. We don't see that very often, and they're already at over 40 artifacts in this playoff match. So we can see that rubber players and mechanical advantage are just going at it. They're stand out of each other's way and mechanical advantage is just able to stay close and they're able to because of that clear the gates quickly and stay close while robo players is taking that far shot so they never have to worry about being in the way and so this is uh ramp clear number eight so the ramp wasn't full but it's still a time to note whenever they cleared it and yeah robo players are just picking up from as close as they can uh, they hardly ever go to their actual human player station because there's just so many artifacts from their ramp and clearing it as long as the blue alliance is not right there they can go after it and that's what they choose to do this entire match the strategy that they do here is immaculate because they are so quick and they both have active intakes it doesn't matter as long as they're not either in the zone whenever the blue alliance is or they are just able to get in and get out they're just that much further ahead than everybody else so we can kind of see a robo players kind of looks like they picked their bell back up like they kind of intake took it or something not entirely sure how that works i don't know if i really want to know because it kind of i don't want to know if stuff got tangled or whatever so we're just gonna leave it at that but we can kind of see here robo players spin dexter which is working really well for them because they're able to just select as they go uh, and so we can kind of see that they're scoring we can see some defense from titanium robotics on quanta on technical advantage up here which is really good because at this point in the game you just want to be stopping the red alliance from scoring because right now at the bottom of the stream we have 55 artifacts and 181 points on the board as opposed to the blue alliance is 60. This alliance one is dominant right now. And there is nobody putting up a fight against them. So it is easy to say that they are the they were the winning alliance from this event. And so there we go. We have at 34 seconds we have the ramp cleared for the ninth time this match. Now, I call this like nine and a half because we can see they closed it, but with how our players was sitting there and intaking the balls as they came in, it, they didn't all clear, and that's fine. So they only like left out four, and so there's there's mechanical advantage doing what they've been doing this entire time and just clear up that ramp. And so yeah, we can see that Robo players is just knocking this belt around whenever it is. It's just they're letting it go because they don't need because they're able to score, 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 and that's all they care about right now. Alright, so right here, we can kind of see that Robo players went for a fake out on the gate. It looked like they were going to hit the gate, and then they backed off. So, I assume that they saw that the time, there's 12 seconds left. They also have a motif right now, and they want to be able to have as much as they can in the ramp right now. So, they're just going to score as much as they can. So, we can see that Mechanical Advantage Robo players are just going to keep putting those up. We can see that they have Overflow. And it's just, we can see that Robo players had artifacts in the robot loaded and ready to go. They just wanted to get that park at the end. So, 71 artifacts classified. And then we have 5 overflow. That's insane. Let's look at the, uh, at the score breakdown and kind of see. So, yeah. We have, in Autonomous, we have 67 points with 17 classified and 2 overflow. Uh, in both leave, there were no motifs made. And when you have this high caliber of teams at this event, you don't really need the motifs. Now, whenever you get later into the states and world events, that's going to be what determines these. But right now... When you're putting up 67 points in Autonomous, 
you're fine. You just need to like go, go, go. And we can see 192 Inteleon, 54 Classified, 3 Overflow, and then a partial part from Mechanical Advantage and a full part from Roller Players. And we can see they had some Classified, uh, some Motifs made. But overall, this match is an insane one to look at because we can see that as long as you can just have two really strong teams that can cycle and go, you can score high. Now, sure, you can say it's only 259 because there's 20 points of penalties. Yeah, but it's still the world record right now. And that's saying something. In November, Worlds is in April. We have so much more time for these robots to develop. It's going to be crazy to see how much teams are going to be able to do but as you guys can see we can take what we've seen here as long as there's two robots that can keep into the rhythm of scoring and clearing the gate as much as they can we can take that game up to the next level let me know what you guys think in the comments about how you guys think this match went and when you guys think the world record will be broken again and what that number will be but until then Tune into fun, tune into Fun Robotics Network to catch up all the latest updates. And this has been Anthony on Analysis. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Studica Robotics is inspiring teams to build better robots with their new array of FTC team options. Check out their updated bevel gears and Maverick hex shaft motors, plantier gearbox options, and 6mm hex components and shafts for extreme power transmission. Go to studica.com robots to learn more and apply for discounts. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first-year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interest, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu first.